I've been in a real shit mood lately, but it's whatever. What is up, Facebook? So, a lot of my fans were complaining that I charged too much for my wands. So, I lowered the price back down to $24. Even though I spent good money on expensive materials to make decent wands, I still got a lot of crap from my fans for, you know, charging too much, supposedly. But, uh, hey, Brittany. Yeah, I'm about to go hang out with uh, Steve for a minute and have a little pizza party. Just wanted to do a quick live stream on Facebook and let you all know that I lowered the prices of my wands back down to uh, $24. Kind of selling myself short on that one, but oh well. That's what I feel like sometimes, Brittany Owen. Brittany Owen writes, people don't appreciate quality or local business. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Haven't gone to get it yet. Jason Wayne says, should have gone to $27 and meet in the middle. Yeah. It is what it is. But no sooner did I change the prices back down to $24 and and uh, no sooner did I raise the, or drop the prices back down to uh, 24 when they all started selling out real quick. So There's like four people, or excuse me, blah. There are four wands, or five wands that people are fighting over. Like, nine people have the black and green wand in the cart. Four people have the clear wand in their cart. Four people have the silver wand in their cart. Four people have the blue wand in their cart, and four people have the green wand in their cart. But after that, they'll be like, one, two, three, four, like four wands left after these five sell. So I've already sold two within the first day of posting them, and it looks like I'm about to sell five more. Cool. You know, I guess I could swallow my, you know, and it really came down to two things, Facebook, swallowing my pride or selling my wands. And I need to sell these wands, man. They're made, they're done, they're ready to go, you know. So, eh. but here's a review I got on one of my wands recently. Bought this wand as a Christmas gift, and they, and the day after he received it, he won five hundred dollars on a lottery ticket. Coincidence? I think not. So that's a full five star review for holiday wand number one. Um, Brett Slusser writes. Bought this wand as a Christmas gift, and the day after he received it, he won $500 on the lottery ticket. Coincidence? I think not. So that's cool. I like seeing that my wands are helping people out. Yeah.
Hell yeah, Jesse Ryan, that's what's up. How do you have time to make all these wands? <laughs> well, Ben Miller, I made like 11 and two have sold already, so. Thanks, Jason. Someone won a hundred and seven million on the Powerball last night. What? No way. Hold on, let me check. Wyoming Lotto, hold on. Hmm. Well, the uh, current estimated jackpot is 129 million, so I don't know where you got that story from, bud, but yeah, it's not, um, yeah, it's. That's uh it's still up there. Um Mega Millions is creeping up. That's what I like to see. I don't do custom wands at the moment, so I think a lot of fans would be hungry to grab it, and you could sell it for a, a pretty penny. I'm sure I could. $24 is a steal to harness that kind of magic. Um, the website for my wands is this one. This CobraCraftWands.com, that's not my URL. <sighs> yeah, it does go to a picture of a girl. Go figure. Huh. I'll, po I'll paste it again in chat. Okay, this is the link. Yes, the pizza party is still happening tonight. I'm about to go over and hang out with Steve for a bit. So I'll catch at you later.